Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So I did not vlog at all Monday. I got little snippets of activities, but I was so crazy busy all day. I just did not get to it. I had a conference after school and I had a meeting earlier and then I just had no time to do anything because I needed to get lots of copies made in preparation. So I apologize. <laughs> it was just a wacky day. So today started off in a whirlwind too. This whole week is going to be packed full of fun because I'm trying to get in the Easter stuff and also the learning, of course. Let me show you what I'm wearing and then I'll take you through our day. Okay, I've got on just a long sleeve black shirt because it's like 30 some degrees. It's really cold. It even showed snow this morning. Hello, spring. <laughs> Nobody gave the season the, the memo. I've got a long sleeve, kind of like a wrap thing, like a sweatery thing. I've got this scarf that's two put together from Dollar Tree. I have these earrings from Marisa's. I have this chameleon ring. I need to change my nails tonight. They're going to be Eastery, so I'll show you tomorrow when I change them tonight. And then here are the leggings I have on. They kind of remind me of Easter eggs, <laughs> like when you dye them and zigzag them. Okay, let me show you a really fun sight word activity that we did today. The kids are having a great time with it. I teamed them up. I don't know if I can get this to stay on the board. It's kind of heavy. So I've got my pocket chart right here. I'll show you. Got my big polka dotty pocket chart. And I will totally link this below. Let me fix my words real quick because when I explain how you play it, then you'll know why I moved the words. I'm just going to put them the right direction now okay so we always have five spelling words every week and then we have like transfer words that will use the same spellings but it's a different word so I tell them that it's part of the same family they just have a different first name their last name stays the same because they're all in the same family with the same last name okay so you've got these cards and they're totally editable so if you get this pack I don't remember how much it is, but I'll link it below and you can see on there. I want to say it's like $3. I got a unicorn one too, because that's going to be for our unicorn fun. So this one's a bunny one. Look at the little bunny. So you print the little bunny and he hides behind the words. So you just hide him in there. And then you have the kids come read the word and you check to see if the bunny's behind there. So they're trying to find the bunny. So what I did was, since we've lost two students, I'm down to 18. So I sat them in groups of six on my rug here, my rainbow rug. I had a red group, an orange group, and a green group. We're keeping score. So I'm going from my left to right. What I did was I said, okay, this person in red, come up and pick a word. I gave them my pointer. They would come up, point to the word, and read it. I would pull the card, and we'd see if the bunny was hiding behind there. We just kept going like that. So I'd go like... The first person in red, the first person in orange, the first person in green. Didn't find it. Then went to the second person in each row, then the third person. Then whenever somebody found the bunny, I was like, oh, you found the bunny, yay. So we only had time for one round because they went through almost all the cards before they found him. So we got a lot of practice in reading those words. I told them, they were having so much fun. I told them that we would play again after lunch. So I'm just going to leave it up and we'll do that. Hmm probably right after we read our new wonder book, which we didn't get to start yesterday because we had a mystery reader, which was super fun. And I had her read um, a leprechaun story that I had not seen because it fell behind some other books. So she had read that and a Dr. Seuss story, and that was really fun. It was one of our grandmas. We're going to be starting this book today, Augie and Me, Three Wonder Stories. And you can see who it talks about in this story. I don't know who some of these people are. We know who Julian is, but Pluto and shingling kids were like who are those people i said i don't know i guess we'll find out that'll be the fun and finding out so they're super excited about that let me show you something else that's big that we're doing so we're doing this rain unlock the rainbow we're on our yellow challenge today let me show you my big game board in the hallway and then i'll tell you what i'm doing to use it Unlocking the rainbow. I think I talked about it a little bit in my planning video, but here's the red challenge. Then we also did the orange challenge. 
We did red and orange yesterday. Then they did the yellow challenge today. And they'll also do the green one later. I've checked the red one. I told them when they're finished, they need to make sure their name's on it and put it in the tray because they get to move their little shamrock around that game board in the hallway every time they complete a challenge. And at the end, they will get, they will get one of these. I'm going to print them in color because it's pretty special. And they'll get a brag tag to put on their necklace. They're super excited about that. Plus, the leprechaun will come leave them a pot of gold, which will be Rolos and those sour rainbow strips. We'll get these. So the gold and the rainbows. They're so excited. Yay. And I was trying to be smart for next year, and I already put like the colors that I needed with the thing I need to print in the different colored folders. So I've got all the other printouts over here. So I've got the green, the blue, the purple, and the pot of gold challenges. So we have four left. And they will get to complete those by the end of the week and move their pieces around the game board, which is so super cool. I told them I would check their challenge papers so that we could put these out on our game board out there. So they're just gonna have to move them around with tape. My clicker's over there, I need to get it later. Oh my goodness. So, huh. it's been going pretty well. They've been super loud. I'm not sure what, I think they're just excited. And some of them have been kind of grouchy because I think they're sick of each other's faces. So, <laughs> I'm like, guys, we need to be kind. Please be kind to each other. So, yeah. And I've got, they've started kind of doing some things that we nipped in the bud at the beginning of the year and it's rearing its ugly head again. Like tattling, talking out of turn, like all the time. Being super loud, even though we know what our voice level should be inside. Getting up without permission, going wandering around the classroom, taking pencils and things when they're not supposed to be up. I'm like friends, we don't do that. Like what, what's going on? Oh my goodness. And the kids have been asking me, how many days have we been at school? How many days have we been in school? Well, after the hundredth day, I kind of stopped keeping track, which is silly. I, kept, I meant to keep track, but I kind of forgot. So I asked the student teacher across the hall, I said, how many days have we been in school? Like by your count, because I was going to count on the school calendar from their hundredth day on to get to here. And I went, oh crud, we had snow days. But I didn't remember how many were before the hundredth day and how many were after the hundredth day. I know we had five snow days total, but I don't remember where they fell. <laughs> So I'm like, I don't know what day we're on now. So we're on day 127. I grabbed my Easter bin. Is it my Easter bin? I grabbed that out of the first grade closet because it's got all my Easter cool stuff in it. Besides the stuff I just bought, which will go in there too, hopefully. And I found these. Look. See that clip? Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh, I forgot I had them. So I was looking in my Easter bin just to kind of see what was in here. Let me move on move my snacks out of the way. And look, look at all the goodies. All the Easter goodness. So I got these at the dollar spot last year. And these, so how cute is that? And tulips. So we can use those for fun stuff. And I've got all these centers. So I'm going to do, oh my goodness, I didn't realize I had these. Oh, wow. These are from last year's dollar spot. Oh, but I was silly and I was such a, um, I was such a mini eraser novice last year. I was such a beginner. I got two bags of each. What was I thinking? Now I get like five because I know better, but yeah, that's better than none. So I have some of the butterflies. Cute little butterflies. I wish I'd gotten more because obviously they don't have them now. Of course, I got all the things, you know, this year to make up for it, but Dollar Tree had little tiny egg carrots before, and so I've already made dice things out of them. But this year, I got the bigger ones. I had some of these from last year, too. I'm going to put the erasers in here for my eraser games. But I've got all kinds of... Look at these. Aren't these cute? So cute. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go through my goodies here and see what I've got. If you find little plastic cookie cutters, like for cheap, they are great stencils for your kids to draw. Like as a reward, like a free draw thing. Yeah, I think these were, they were probably, I want to say this is probably Walmart. I don't know. 
But yeah, they were cheap. So I've got all kinds of neat little stuff in here. Centers and whatnot. So I will be... I think I have more stuff than this. I really do. There's probably another bin of these somewhere. But that should be enough to get me going. Oh, I need, might need to go by Dollar Tree and get just a few more bunny things. I don't know. I've got quite a few. Anyway, I'm going to put... For my graphing things, I'm going to put these kind of bunnies in there and carrots and stuff into these. Because these, <clears throat> these don't break as easily when the kids open them as these. I think these will just be for dice probably because they're harder to, they're easier to break because they have ears and they could break the tips of the ears off. I accidentally broke a tip of an ear off last year when I was trying to open the cup. So when I was trying to open the egg. So I think all of the, the egg thing, I think all the eraser things will be in these, probably. Just for safety reasons. Because I don't want everything to break on me. And then the little chicks. The chicks should be okay. They have like little wings, but I don't think that'll be a problem. We'll see. This is the carnage from our snack today, and I will show you what it looked like. How cute is this? Here's a little bunny dirt cup. So there's chocolate pudding in here. Then the kids got to crush up one of these Halloween Oreos. Because I got the Peeps kind. I realized they're vanilla. Oops. That doesn't look like dirt. And then I did some spray whip. And they got to have a little Peep on top. That was our bunny snack today. And I haven't gotten to clean my table yet. Look how dirty it is. Full of crushed up Oreos. And there's some on the floor. So I need to clean that up a little bit. They loved it. The kids said, can we have this every day? And I went, well not every day but we could have something like that again so I'm gonna put this in the fridge for later I had a conference yesterday after school and so I had to get stuff ready for that plus I had people to talk to before I went to the conference and then um, plus I was scurrying around getting all of this nonsense copied like I showed you on my plans over the weekend my plans are like overflowing with activities and none of them none of them were prepped none so I had to do lots of copying yesterday. I still don't have everything copied, but I have most of it. I have stuff for today and tomorrow done, mostly, but I can do that tomorrow. So yeah, so I'll do for the rest of the week. And I really wanted to get stuff ready for when we come back from spring break, but I don't know if I can get that done either. I at least need to have Monday after spring break ready. And that one of the things we're gonna do is a a rabbit informational writing unit so I've already got stuff ready for that at least but that doesn't take care of everything else and we'll be going into shapes and I've already got a letter to send home to the families asking for um, asking for donations for a snack so that we can graph our shapes because that'll go along with what we just did plus it will help them recognize 3d shapes so we're doing like cheese cubes um, cheese balls, pretzels, those are cylinders. What else are we doing? Seems like there are four. I don't know. Cubes, cylinders, spheres. That might be all. That might be all we can do with food. Anyway, I've got that ready. And I realized I never sent the newsletter home yesterday. I had it ready, but I didn't do it. I did email it to families, though. So that shouldn't be a big deal, but I want to do it. And there's the donation letter. I'll show you the letter. So I've got bugles, cheese cubes, mini marshmallows, pretzel sticks, cocoa puffs, or kicks, graham cracker sticks, and cheese balls. And then there's a graphing activity we can do with that. I want to say it's, I think that's a freebie I got from Teachers Pay Teachers. Whatever it is, I'll link it whenever we get ready to do it. So you can do it if you want to do 3D shapes, graphing, or just for fun. That's the, something I need to print to send home. I totally forgot to print all this stuff to send home yesterday. Yeah, because I'm trying to do too many things. But it's fun stuff, and it's learning stuff, and it's hitting our standards, and I'm feeling good about all the stuff we're doing, but I feel like I've crammed a lot in for me to get prepared. Like, the kids are loving it. They're loving all the activities, especially the bunny stuff, because it's bunny theme week. I don't know if I have that paper here, but... I had my colleague on Friday. I don't know if I have a copy of it. I probably have a copy of everything on this pile, but um, on Friday, my colleague from across the way brought me this paper. It 
and said, hey, we're thinking about doing this next week. Do you want to join us? I went, I would love to do that. And so I sent this home. I printed it on pink paper, I think. And I sent it home on Friday. And I said, guys, we're going to do all bunny stuff next week. So yesterday was they could bring a stuffed bunny, which we do a stuffed animal anyway. So that wasn't a huge change for us. Today was to do the rabbit snack which is that. And yesterday, we did a bunny snack yesterday too. We did Trix Mix. And what I did was I used Trix Rabbit cereal and the little marshmallow bunnies that you can get. And I don't have any right now because I gave the rest of them to my partner teacher over here that came up with this idea because she for totally forgot to do a bunny snack. And I said, um, you know what I'm going to do one of the days is I'm going to do bunny tails. And that's popcorn. Because, you know, the popcorn pops up and it looks like a fluffy bunny tail. And I said, I have some of those little marshmallows. You could throw those in there. And she's like, okay, that sounds great. So I gave her the remainder of my marshmallows. Now I have like four or five more bags of those marshmallows. And I had them in the car. But I had so much stuff I had to carry in with the pudding and my teacher bag and the bags of other stuff for the erasers and all that. I just was like, and my lunch. I went, I don't think I need to bring these in. And I wish I had because I could have given her a whole bag of marshmallows. But anyway, you get the bunny mellows. And I think yesterday, I think I filmed the graphing of that. I think I did. I don't even remember. It was such a whirlwind day. But I hope I did. If not, I will be sure to show you what the marshmallows look like. Because, I, like I said, I don't have any left now. But um, they are really cute. And the kids loved them. So there's like pink, yellow green and purple ones. I just put a little bit of tricks on the bottom of their bowl and I just gave them a handful and they graphed the marshmallows that they had. There's a free, there's that freebie graphing thing that I talked about on my planning thing from the weekend. It's bunny mellow graphing from cupcake from the teacher. Cupcake for the, a cupcake for the teacher. I keep mumbling her thing, but that is how it goes. I hope this newsletter prints well. It's not looking promising. We shall see. We shall see what we shall see. I need to show you what it looks like on my print screen. Okay, like right now, it looks fine. See? Normal. No weirdness. Check this out. This is what it looks like when it's on the print screen. I don't know what that is. I don't know, but sometimes it prints without some of the words. Like it just makes a blank box instead of the words in it. I don't know what's going on. All I know is this newsletter was made in the older version of Word. One of the tech guys came and updated my Microsoft Office because my fonts were not installing and reading because they were newer and the Word version that I had was older. So now they're compatible. But now my old stuff in Word is all funkadoodle. So I don't know. Hopefully that printed right. We'll see. See when I get to the printer in a little bit. That was my alarm to heat up my lunch. I'm having this day. Sweet sesame chicken. Super good. It's so easy too. You open it up. You microwave it for four and a half minutes. You let it cool. Add a little salt. Dump the tray together. Mix it. Done. Couldn't be easier. All right. I'm going to go check to see if my newsletter's printed because I need to put them in the kids' cubbies. I need to check their challenges because they want to put these things on the wall. I need to pick books for my reading groups. And I need to do all of this within the next 35 minutes. So I'm going to get crack lacking. And I will check back in with you later. Hello, my kids are at recess. I had one of my friends that needed to clean the rug because they made a mess on the rug and they needed to clean it up. So the custodian was kind enough to bring the special stain spray for the rug and a cloth. I had a couple of girls that took forever to come back from the bathroom, so they just came back to get their jackets. Okay, this is what we did for after we read Wonder, our second Wonder, no, after we read this. 
We read the first few sections. It's about Julian. Um, we played that game again with the uh, in the pocket chart, the little hiding bunny game. So they really like that. We'll play it again tomorrow. I even made a paper that showed how the kids were sitting on the rug and the order of them and everything so we could make it fair. So here's the score so far. And this, that girl is going to start tomorrow. So for spelling, for independent spelling work, they wrote their words at the bottom of this little graph. And I gave them one of those big foamy dice. I'll show you those. You can get these at Dollar Tree. They come two for a dollar. These came, I think, from Oriel Trading. These I got from Dollar Tree. They're smaller now at Dollar Tree. I think they're about this size at Dollar Tree now. Anyway, so they roll the dice, and then they just write whatever word that goes with that number. This is just one that I made. It's called Funny Bunny Spelling. Like that. And I'll try to remember to link it in my Google Drive so you can get it for free, because whoop, I just dropped it on the floor. Anyway, there it goes. I will share that with you so you can use it if you like. Um, kids did their yellow challenge, just clocks. It's just a worksheet that I had that I put on here. So I'm gonna move that down. I'm just dropping everything. I'm trying to do everything one-handed. It doesn't work very well. Okay. When they come back from recess, since we didn't get done before recess, I'm gonna let them take their little shamrock things. Wherever I put them. Ah! Yes. They're going to take their little pieces. I don't know whose this is because there's no name on it. How oh, she put it on the back? That's not helpful. I have to write it on the front. Anyway, they're going to get to stick it on their on the game board out there for the Unlock the Rainbow, depending on which challenge they completed last. So they'll know where they're going after that. And then for math, we did this as part of our warm-up. And it was all about tally marks today, both of the lessons. So they had to spin a spinner 20 times mark what they got and then graph it and then answer the questions and write a question, write a fact. Sorry. They had to write a fact about the graph. They turned this one in because I wanted to check it. So some of them did not get finished because they were fiddling around instead. So they'll be doing it tomorrow. Yep. And then of course, center wheel for the people that finished everything. It wasn't a lot of time. It's just, ugh. I think I'm just trying to cram in too much stuff. But it's good to keep them busy. Don't give them any downtime because that's when they get super squirrely on you. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Otherwise, not good. Yeah. I'm just putting my magnets back, my little magnet men. Okay. I need to erase my board because we're going to do something with this little guy when we come back. I think I had in my plans that I was going to do something with my scholastic science spin. That's going to have to wait because... I didn't get this thing done yesterday, so I want to do it today. Because we can throw in that science spin any time. It doesn't have to do with bunnies at all, so this thing does. I can't really do it later. My board is a hot mess. My eraser is looking really gross. Probably time to throw it away and get a new one. All right. Clean up my stuff here. Okay, as you can see, my table is beautiful now. Cleaned all the crumbs off from that snack earlier. I need to separate these out and check them. These are the ones that got turned in. I've got the red ones and the orange ones checked. We saw that earlier. So that way I can figure out where they need to go on the game board out there in the hallway. I need to change all my calendars. I have a conference right at the end of school today at 3 o'clock. And then the uh, reading teacher is going to come in and talk to because we're going to let the parent know how their student is doing in both places. So that will be good. That'll be nice. I got all the papers checked, except for the ones they just turned in. And then I can mark their cards, which will be nice. I may just do my tally mark thing again. Because, oh. Do you guys have problems with the kids putting their names on their papers? Like, is that a universal thing? I pretty much remember that when I was in school, too. There was always someone that didn't put their name on their paper. We just do process of elimination. I go, stand up if I call your name. And that way, whoever's not standing, I go, oh, this must be yours because you're the only one left. <laughs> Please write your name on this paper. Depending on what it is. Like, if it's not a crucial paper, honestly, I just recycle it. And I go, oh, I'm really sorry. If, that, if you did it, you didn't let me know. So 
bummer for you to do the work for nothing. Well, not for nothing. They got something out of the work, but they didn't get a reward for it other than the joy of knowledge. Because <laughs> I'm sure that appeals to a first grader. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are loving this Write the Room. I got Mr. Greg's whole year Write the Room bundle. And so I need to print out the ones for April so that I can put them out Monday morning when we come back from spring break. Oh, I'm so excited. I can hardly stand it. I'm not going anywhere for spring break, even though we have a whole five days off in a row. We hardly ever do that. I just drop something else. I'm the dropping queen today. Drop my papers. Okay. I'm trying to fix my color groups for tomorrow. Each, each day is a different color group. Each day I have a different color that goes first and I rotate them and it also goes with the center wheel. They know that if they, it's their color day that that's their book picking day from the library. So they really like that. I don't know that anybody has been choosing books lately. They've been too busy. <laughs> they run out of time and they haven't gotten to do much iPad at all. We have not done any prodigy. None. None for math because I've been doing extra math stuff just so they get it. Because I don't think we need to do uh, remediation on graphing. I personally think graphing is so easy. Did you know today is the first day of spring? Like, I thought the equinox always changed on the 21st. Like, always. I grew up with that. This year it's the 20th? What? I was telling my kids, I think that's tomorrow, guys. And they're like, that's what it said on the calendar. And I'm like, huh, let me look it up. According to Google and everyone else on the planet, apparently today's the first day of spring. So happy spring. I was thinking we had one more day because I thought the 21st was always the first day of something, but I guess I was wrong. Somebody's box broke today. I think it was already cracked. It just fell apart today. I'm like, Ugh. so I have a rule that they put the lid either on top of their box or under it when they're working out of their box because otherwise their lid is just like all over the place and people step on it and they get broken. Yeah, that's what happens. All right, I want to show you something I made real quick. It has nothing to do with anything really other than it's just really cute. So I really like Jen Hart Designs on TPT. She has really cute clip art and it's not very expensive. And you get the color and the black line for like three bucks for most sets. Look what I got last night. Llamas, aren't they cute? So I think when we do our animal groups, I have ordered a pair of leggings for every animal group that represents that group, like something. So... When we get to mammals, I'm going to wear llama leggings. And we're going to have a llama llama pajama party because that would be super fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I would like to, I'd like to focus on one group a week starting when we come back in April. So I'm going to do, it's not going to be that animal necessarily, but animals in that group. So we'll do our, we'll do mammals first because that's the one everyone knows. And we'll do our rabbit reports because I already have that stuff and it's ready to go. So we'll do mammals first. I also have this really cool, um, like it's called Zookeeper Journal or Zookeeper Book or something that may, is made by Sarah Cooley on Teachers Pay Teachers. I will find that and show you. I knocked my nail loose earlier, so and it flew across the room. So I just put a tiny little dab of glue just to get me to the end of the day because I'm changing these tonight at home. Just something really super cute for Easter. Anyway. So yes, the llama game will be during mammal week. We'll do all mammal stuff. And so I'm going to, I also have this game that I've made it's called It's a Zoo. Yeah. And I have, I don't know if I showed all of these to you, but let me show you. Chick one for chick week, bunnies, and then you've seen the tooth fairy one. Anyway, these are um, inspired by those strategy games that Mystic Harbo makes. Just so we'd have a lot more variety because you know the kids get bored with stuff she has a lot of them in her store though so i mean you wouldn't get bored very soon she has a lot but i wanted to be more specific like she has really cute like fall themed winter themed spring themed i wanted to have it go with my units just to make it fun and so since i have scads of clip art from the years i thought let's use it let's start using some of that stuff that you bought a long time ago so yeah, I just, I whipped out the llama one last night because I was just feeling llama-ish. So <laughs> I thought they were so cute. That's going to be really fun. Anyway, I forgot what I was going to show you. So sorry about that. I was getting something on here. I don't know. Oh, this is that rabbit unit I was telling you about that I'm going to do with my kids. It's by Michelle Oaks. 
I want to say, I correct me if I'm wrong. It's time to get them. I need to go to the bathroom before I get them. Um, Michelle Oaks used to be a first grade teacher, and now she's a literacy coach, I think, at her school. But she does a lot of cool reading units now. So there's this is called Hop To It, a rabbit mini unit. It's a nonfiction unit. It's got a really cool amount of stuff in it. Let me just show you one thing. So this is all about rabbits book. I still need to slice them in half. But it's got all kinds of information about rabbits. What is a rabbit? Rabbit families. Rabbit babies. Where do they live? What do they eat? And rabbit bodies. And then on the back, other fun facts. And it comes with like graphic organizers and compare and contrast Venn diagrams and labeling things and a schema map and just all kinds of cool stuff. And I don't think it, I think it was $5. I mean, this is a lot more work than I could do for $5. This is worth $5 to me for not having to do any of this stuff. So it's really, really good. I used it last year too. And my kids loved it. And then the cool thing is they can keep this book and take it home. So we'll write our rabbit reports from these. There's like rabbit writing paper in there too. So you'll get to see some of that after Easter. When we come back from spring break, we'll start on this. So then you'll see some of our writing, which is cool. I don't share a lot of my reading and writing, I guess, just because I'm right in the middle of it and I can't really film it. So I'm sorry about that. I'll try to I'll try to give you a more rounded view of my world. It's really easy for me to film math because the kids do some independent activities after I do my main lesson. And so I can just go around and give you little snippets of stuff. But um, the reading is just harder because I don't really have a lot of time to share after we've done it. So I'll try to do a recap at the end of the day on our reading stuff and writing stuff because I know you guys would love ideas on that too. I would too. I'm one of those people that just love seeing other people do stuff and go, oh, that's cool. I want to try that in my room too. It worked for them. It might work for me. Yeah. So I love to share stuff that I like to do that my kids really like and it's a great learning thing. Right. I'm going to run to the restroom, grab my kids from recess, and we're going to come back and do some stuff with that ink with the Easter Bunny's assistant. So I will catch you later.